Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the seventh question from 058042, extended paper from October November 2024. Now, this question is from trigonometry topic. The diagram shows a field ABCD with B north of A. BD is a path across the field. AB is 85 meters, AD is 72 meters, BD is 129 meters, angle BDC is 39 degrees, and angle BCD is 60 degrees. Show that angle CBD is 81 degrees. So here we have been given a field ABCD, and some of the side lengths are given, and some of the angles are being given. Now in the first question, we need to show that the angle CBD is going to be 81 degrees. So for that, let us consider the triangle CBD. So here we have highlighted the triangle CBD. Now to find out the angle CBD, we are going to make use of the angle sum property of the triangle. So here we have written in triangle CBD, angle CBD plus angle CDB plus angle BCD is equal to 180 degree. Now here we need to find out angle CBD. Angle CDB value is given as 39 degrees. And angle BCD is given as 60 is equal to 180 degree. Now taking 39 and 60 on the other side of equal to sign, we get angle CBD is equal to 180 minus 60 minus 39. I have written it over here as 81 degrees, but let us just verify once again. So this is going to give us the value as 81 degrees. So we have shown that angle CBD is equal to 81 degrees. Now moving on to the next one. Calculate CD. So we have considered the same figure over here for easy reference. And to find out the length of CD, we are again going to consider the triangle CBD. Now here we have highlighted the triangle CBD and we had got the value of angle B as 81 degrees. Now since we need to find out the length of CD, we can make use of the sign rule because this is the missing side but we have the angle opposite to it. And we have the length of BD over here as 129 and we also have the angle which is opposite to it. So here we are going to write, making use of the sign rule, the missing side CD over the sign of the angle opposite to it, that is sign of angle CBD is equal to the side BD which is given in the diagram over the sign of the angle which is opposite to it, that is sign of angle BCD. Now here CD is written as it is as we need to find it out. Now angle CBD is 81 degrees. So we have written here sine 81 is equal to length of BD is 129 over sine of angle BCD is sine of 60. Now taking sine 81 on the other side of equal to sine, it multiplies with the fraction. Now let us see what value this gives us. So this is going to give us the value as 147.122. I am going to round it to one decimal please and write it as 147.1. So this is the length of CD. Show that angle ABD is equal to 31.6 degrees, correct to one decimal place. Now since we need to show that this angle is 31.6 degrees, let us consider the triangle ABD. Now in this triangle we can see that all the three sides of the triangle are given and we have to find a missing angle. So to solve this, we are going to make use of the cosine rule, which is cosine rule is given as cos of angle ABD, since we need to find this angle, is equal to, now it is the sum of the square of the two sides that encloses this angle, that is AB square plus BD square minus the square of the side that is opposite to this angle, that is AD square, divided by two times product of the sides that are enclosing this angle that is AB times BD. Now in the next step, we are just going to plug in the values of all these sides in this formula. So we have AB square as 85 square plus BD square is 129 square minus AD square is 72 square over 2 times 85 times 129. Now let us see what value this gives us. So this is going to give us the value as 9341 over 10965. Now I'm going to take this fraction as it is over here and at the same time I'm going to send this cos on the other side of equal to sign. So cos becomes cos inverse of this given fraction. So let us see what value this gives us. So here we are going to just take cos inverse of the answer. 
So this is going to give us the value of angle ABD as 31.58 or rounding it to one decimal place as it has been asked in the question. We are going to get it as 31.6 degrees. So we have shown that angle ABD is equal to 31.6 degrees. Find the shortest distance from A to BD. Now remember that the shortest distance is always going to be the perpendicular distance between a given point and the side opposite to it. And here we have marked the angle ABD which we had got in previous part of the question as 31.6 degrees. Now let us draw a perpendicular line from A to BD this way and let us call this point on BD as M. Now we have to find out the shortest distance from A to BD which means we need to find out the length of AM. So for that let us consider the right angled triangle AMB. Let me redraw this triangle over here. Now the same right angled triangle is being drawn right angled at point M and AB value is given here as 85 meters so we have written it over here and value of angle B is 31.6 degrees. Now since we need to find out this side AM let us consider a trigonometric ratio. Before that let us find out which is the opposite side which is the hypotenuse and the adjacent side. Now since we have this angle that is angle B the side opposite to this angle becomes AM. So AM becomes the opposite side. The side opposite to the 90 degree will be always the hypotenuse and the remaining side default becomes the adjacent side. Now in this case we need to find out the opposite side. We have been given the hypotenuse so we do not need the adjacent side. And the trigonometric ratio which makes use of the opposite side and the hypotenuse is sine. So here we have written sine of angle ABM is equal to opposite side over hypotenuse. Sine of angle ABM is equal to opposite side is AM over hypotenuse is AB. Now substituting their respective values we have sine of 31.6 degrees is equal to AM over AB value is 85. Now to find AM let us send 85 on the other side of equal to sine. So it multiplies with sine 31.6. So we have AM is equal to sine 31.6 times 85. So let us see what value this gives us. This is going to give us the value as 44.538. I'm going to round it to two decimal places and write it as 44.54 meters. So this is the shortest distance from point A to PD. Now moving on to the next one. Find the bearing of B from C. So for that let me draw a north direction at point C. So this is the north direction of point C and let us call this point as point P because we need it later. Now here we need to find out the bearing of B from C which means that if you are at point C facing north then how much angle are you rotating clockwise till you reach the point B. So we need to find out this total angle and that will give us the bearing of B from C till this line because this is a connecting line to point B. Now to find this total angle let us break this angle part by part starting with by drawing a straight line from north going south. So let us draw a straight line at point C this way. Now out of this total angle since this is a straight line this angle becomes 180 degree. So we have got some part of the angle out of the bearing and 60 degree angle is already there over here out of the total angle but we need to find out this small angle to get the total bearing of B from point C and to find this angle let us focus on the straight line AB and let us call the north point of this line as point N. Now here since this is a straight line this total angle at point B becomes 180 degree and out of 180 degree 81 degrees we had got in previous part of this question that angle CBD was 81 and angle ABD was 31.6. So we have to just subtract these two angles from 180 to get this small angle. So let me write here angle NBC that is this angle is equal to 180 degree minus 31 degrees minus 81 degrees. So we get this small angle NBC as 67.4 degrees. Now once we get this angle NBC angle NBC and angle PCB forms a corresponding angle because the north lines are parallel to each other. So it's going to be a corresponding angle this way. Let me highlight it. 
and we know that the sum of the corresponding angles will be always equal to 180 degree. So here we have written angle NBC plus angle PCB is equal to 180 degree. And we got the value of angle NBC over here as 67.4. So substituting its value we get 67.4 plus angle PCB that is this angle is equal to 180 degree. Now sending 67.4 on the other side of equal to sign we get angle PCB equal to 180 minus 67.4. So this will give us the angle PCB as 112.6 degrees. Now once we have got this angle let us focus on the point C. Now at point C the total angle is going to be 360 degrees. Now out of that 180 degree we have already got for the straight line. This 60 degree was already given in the question and this remaining part 112.6 degree we got it just now. So if we subtract these three angles from 360 degrees we will be able to find out this small part of the angle. So here let us write 360 minus 112.6 minus 60 minus 180 that is going to give us the value of this small angle as 7.4 degrees. Now once we have found out this angle the total bearing is going to be the addition of these three angles that is 180 degree plus 7.4 degrees plus 60 degrees. So adding these three angles we get the bearing of B from C as 247.4 degrees. This is our final answer. Now moving on to the next sub question. Trees are planted in the field. The number of trees planted is 1100 per hectare. Calculate the total number of trees planted in the field. One hectare is given as 10,000 square meters. So here in the question they have mentioned that there are 1100 trees planted per hectare. We need to find out how many total number of trees are being planted on this field. And for that we have to find out the total area of this field. So we are going to divide this total area of the field into two triangles. That is area of triangle CBD and area of triangle ABD. So here we have written total area of the field ABCD is equal to area of triangle CBD plus area of triangle ABD. And to find out the area of the triangles, we are going to make use of this formula which is 1 over 2 times A times B times sin C where A and B represents the two sides of any given triangle and C represents the angle in between those two given sides. So let us write down the areas of triangle CBD and ABD now. So for triangle CBD we have written 1 over 2 times side BD times side CD times sine of the angle in between them that is sine BDC. Now the length of BD was already given in the question and length of CD we found it as 147.1 and angle BDC is 39 degrees. So plugging in their respective values we get 1 over 2 times 129 times 147.1 times sine 39 degrees plus for area of triangle ABD we have written 1 over 2 times side AB times side BD times sine of angle in between these two sides which is sine ABD. Now here we have written 1 over 2 times the length of AB is 85, the length of BD is 129 times sine 31.6 degrees. Now let us see what value this gives us. So this total area is going to be 8843.713134. Now since this is an intermediate step, we are going to round it to 4 decimal places and write it as 8843.7131 square meters. Now since they have given the number of trees planted per hectare, we are going to convert the square meters into hectares. So here we have written 1 hectare is equal to 10,000 square meters. But we have got it as 8843.7131 square meters then how many hectares is it going to be? So basically 1 and this number multiplies together and that number will be divided by 10,000. So here we have got the area in hectares as 0 0.8843713131 hectares. As you can see I have not rounded the values over here because this is still an intermediate step. Now once we have done this, let us come to this information given. It was given that 1100 trees were planted per hectare. So for the total area of this field, that is this number, we need to find out how many trees are going to be planted. 
So here I have again used the cross multiplication method. That is for 1 hectare 1100 trees were planted. Then for the total area of this number in hectares, how many trees are going to be planted? So we are going to multiply these two numbers. Let us see what answer we get. So this is going to give us the value as 972.8 number of trees. So you can either take 972 trees or you can round it to the next higher integer that is 973 trees. So we have written here total number of trees planted in this field are going to be 972 or 973 trees. So this is our answer. Now let us move on to the last sub question. A rectangle has an area of 9400 square centimeter correct to the nearest 100 square centimeters. The length of the rectangle is 80 centimeters correct to the nearest 10 centimeters. Calculate the upper bound of the width of the rectangle. So this question is related to the lower bounds and upper bounds. So let us focus on the given data first. That is area of the rectangle and length of the rectangle. Now here since it is given that the area of the rectangle has been taken correct to the nearest 100 square centimeters. We have written here area of rectangle as 100. So we are going to divide 100 by 2 to get its upper limit and lower limit. So 100 over 2 gives us plus or minus 50. And since area of the rectangle is given as 9400, let us find out the lower bounds and upper bounds. That is when we add 50 to 9400, we get the upper bound as 9450. And when we subtract 50 from this number, we get the lower bound as 9350. Similarly, let us focus on the length of rectangle. It's given that it has been considered nearest to 10 centimeters, which means we are going to take 10 and divide it by 2 to get the upper limit and lower limit that is plus or minus 5 in this case. And since the length is given as 80 centimeter, we are going to add 5 to 80, giving us the upper bound of length as 85 and lower bound that is subtracting 5 from 80, we get it as 75 centimeter. Now once we have got the area of rectangle and length of the rectangle, let us consider the formula for area of rectangle. The area of rectangle is given by the formula length times width. But in this question as we are supposed to find out the width, we are going to rearrange this formula which gives us width equal to area of rectangle over length of rectangle. And since we have to find out the upper bound of the width, remember that the numerator here should be upper bound and the denominator should be lower bound. So here we have written the upper bound of width is equal to numerator is upper bound so upper bound of area of rectangle over the denominator should be lower bound so lower bound of length. This is equal to now from this we can see that the upper bound of area is 9450 divided by the lower bound of the length is 75. So let us see what value this gives us. So this is going to give us the value as 126 centimeter. So this is the upper bound of the width. So here we have written upper bound of width as 126 centimeter. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful then check out this playlist where you will find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.